Welcome to Home Herbal. Fruit cordials and syrups help to increase energy levels and nourish the body. The natural benefits of the plants in these cordial and syrup recipes are aided by sugar and honey, which help to alleviate dry coughs, sore throats, and general irritations of the respiratory system. Blackberry and Lime Cordial Blackberries are packed with antioxidants and are used in many recipes as a traditional remedy for colds and sore throats. This cordial also benefits from the antiseptic and refreshing taste of limes, which helps to detoxify and cool the body. 1 kg Fresh Blackberries 1 3 4 cups Superfine Sugar Juice of 4 limes over low heat, simmer the blackberries and lime juice in a saucepan for approximately 15 minutes. Leave to cool for 10 minutes or so, then push the mixture through a sieve and discard the pulp and seeds. Pour the strained juice into a clean saucepan and add the sugar. Stir over low heat until sugar has dissolved, and then simmer for about 5 minutes until the mixture is syrupy. Pour into sterilized bottles, seal, refrigerate, and use within a few days. Dilute to taste with frizzy or water and fresh mint or lime slices to make a refreshing drink. Elderberry and Elderflower Cordial This is a useful winter tonic as elderflowers, elderberries, and fresh ginger enhance the body's defense mechanisms that ward off seasonal colds and flu conditions, anise seed gently clears the lungs, and ginger and cinnamon bring warmth to the body. Sugar moistens the respiratory passages and alleviates the dry cough often caused by central heating. 3 4 cup elderberries, if using dried, rehydrate in water first. 50 grams fresh or dried elderflowers. 1 small cinnamon stick. 1 teaspoon anise seed. 1 tablespoon fresh ginger. Grated 2 cups sugar Juice of half lemon Place all the ingredients except the sugar and lemon juice in a saucepan, add 1 liter water cover and simmer over low heat for 25 to 30 minutes. Strain the liquid into a measuring jug. Decant 2 cups into a saucepan and add the sugar. Stir gently over low heat to dissolve the sugar. When all the sugar has dissolved, add the lemon juice and simmer gently for another 10 to 15 minutes with the lid off. Then bring it to a boil for 2 to 3 minutes and remove from the heat. Pour into a sterilized glass bottle while still hot, seal, label with a list of the ingredients and date. Keep refrigerated and use within 3 to 4 weeks. Add a tablespoon of cordial to a cup of cold or hot water or drizzle on pancakes or breakfast cereals. Sweet Violet and Ginger Honey This syrupy extracts of fresh violets, ginger, plantain, and houtunia should be made in spring when all these ingredients are growing fresh in garden. Violet, plantain, and houtunia are all good expectorants with strong anti-inflammatory actions. Fresh ginger is diaphoretic. Houtunia, with its orange-like flavor, adds to the gingery taste. 20 grams fresh violet leaves and flowers. 30 grams fresh ginger. 30 grams fresh houtunia leaves. 500 grams honey. 20 grams fresh plantain leaves. Carefully harvest the fresh leaves and flowers and wash and air dry them. Finely chop them, place in a clean jar, and cover completely with honey. Mix thoroughly to ensure all the herbs are well covered. Add extra honey if necessary. Leave in a warm place for 5 days, then strain the honey through a clean piece of cheesecloth and decant it into a smaller sterilized jar. Seal the jar, label with a list of all the ingredients, and date. The honey makes a great drink either with cold or hot water. It will only keep for a few weeks. Lemon Balm and Honey Puree 
This puree, which uses fresh, young, juicy lemon balm leaves, is best prepared in late spring before the plant becomes somewhat woody and the leaves less juicy. It works well as a sweetener for other herbal infusions or summer cocktails, and can be served as a hot or cold drink by adding one or two teaspoons of the puree to boiling or chilled water. 1 3rd cup honey Juice of half lemon Place the leaves in a blender or food processor, add the honey and lemon juice, and blend until you get a smooth green puree. Dilute with water and drink. The puree will last for a week or two, if kept refrigerated. Rosehip Syrup This syrup is for beautiful skin and healthy joints. Rose hips contains vitamins A, B1, B2, and a high concentration of vitamin C, and are known for their anti-inflammatory activity in helping to reduce muscle and joint stiffness and arthritic pain. They also have anti-scorbutic, anti-hemorrhagic, and diuretic properties, skin regenerating properties, and help to maintain healthy collagen. 500 grams fresh rose hips. 2 cups sugar. Slice the fruit in half and scoop out the seeds and hairs with a small spoon. Wash the clean halves under running water to further remove the little hairs from the fruit. Place the fruit in a saucepan, add 2 cups of water and simmer, uncovered, over low heat for 20 to 30 minutes until the fruit is soft and water has reduced slightly. Strain the mixture. Decant the liquid into a clean saucepan. Discard the fruit. Add the sugar to the strained liquid and allow it to dissolve over low heat, stirring continuously. Once all the sugar has dissolved, increase the heat and heat for 2 to 3 minutes. Decant the syrup into a sterilized bottle. Seal and label with the name and date. Keep refrigerated and use within 6 weeks. Rose Petal Syrup This fragrant syrup can be served as a sweetener for herbal infusions, poured over pancakes and ice cream, or as a cordial diluted with water. The dark-colored, perfumed rose petals of the damask rose or French rose are best for this recipe. Keeping the temperature low is the key to making a successful syrup. 1 cup granulated sugar Juice of 1 lemon, strained Juice of 1 orange, strained 10 tablespoon dried rose petals Dissolve the sugar in 300 ml of water in a small saucepan over low heat, and do not allow it to boil, as this will make the mixture cloudy. Add the strained lemon and orange juices, turn the heat down, and simmer over low heat for 5 minutes. Over the next 15 minutes, add the rose petals, a tablespoon at a time, and stir thoroughly before adding more. Remove from the heat, allow to cool, and strain. Pour into a sterilized glass bottle, seal, and label. Keep refrigerated. Sour Cherry Syrup Long distance runners take cherry juice concentrates before and after exercising, as the anti-inflammatory properties of cherries and quicker muscle recovery and pain release. Sour cherries also help to preserve a youthful appearance, benefit liver function, and regulate sleep patterns. 1 3 4 cups sour cherry juice, freshly pressed. 1 1 4 cups sugar. Pour the sugar onto a saucepan, add the sugar and heat gently. Dissolve the sugar in the juice, stirring continuously, then simmer for 20 minutes over low heat. Strain the syrup and bottle in a sterilized glass bottle with a tight-fitting lid. Keep refrigerated and use within a few weeks. Echinacea and Thyme Syrup When used regularly, this great all-year-round tonic helps the body to develop a natural resistance to viruses and other pathogens. Take it also at the onset of cold, as it keeps the body warm and protected. 20 grams fresh thyme 20 grams fresh echinacea root, stem, and young green leaves. 10 grams fresh garlic, peeled, and crushed. 
10 grams fresh ala campaign root 1 whole fresh red chili 400 ml good quality vodka 100 grams manuka honey 10 grams fresh ginger, grated Wash all the herb ingredients once they have been harvested and allowed to dry. Then chop them finely. Place all the ingredients except honey and vodka in a large glass jar with a lid. Pour in the vodka, close the lid tightly, and shake a few times. Label the jar with the ingredients and the date. Place the jar in a dark cupboard and shake it at least once a day for three weeks. Strain the contents of the jar through a piece of cheesecloth into a measuring jug. Decant the manuka honey into a bowl and gently pour in the tincture, stirring continuously with a whisk until the honey and the tincture are well blended. Pour the syrup into a 500 ml amber glass bottle with a lid and label with the ingredients and the date. Take 1 teaspoon 2 to 3 times a day or up to 6 teaspoons a day at the onset of a cold. If you liked this video please do like, share and don't forget to hit the subscription box given below.